Hi everybody, it is Lauren, the park naturalist at the Anita C. Light Estuary Center, which is also affiliated with the Harford County Parks and Rec Department. And I have another fun video to share with you today about a certain flower that you see everywhere, that you're probably familiar with, that is currently in my ear. <laughs> this would be the dandelion flower. So what do you think of the dandelion? Do you think it's a nuisance? that it's, you know, everywhere and you wish it would just go away. I feel like a lot of people feel that way. Or do you like it because your kids pick them for you in the springtime and give them to you as gifts? Or do you like them because you see pollinators getting a chance to enjoy them in the spring? Well, today I have a couple activities that I hope change your mind if you're not a huge fan. Um, things that you can do with your kids or just yourself. Uh, during social distancing, this is something you can do easily in your neighborhood because who doesn't have dandelions in their neighborhood? They're everywhere. Um, but before I get into those activities, I have a couple fun things I'd like to share with you about the dandelion. So, the name dandelion has originated from the French word dent de lion, which means the lion's tooth. So when you look at a dandelion flower, it doesn't really make you think of a lion, right? Maybe because it's fluffy, it looks like a lion's mane, but it's actually because of the leaf of the dandelion. The leaf has serrated edges on it and it's a little more jagged. So it's believed that that leaf was named after a lion's tooth because it's jagged like a tooth. Um, also, the scientific name, which I'm going to try and say, but most that know me know I'm not the greatest with saying scientific names. Um, I believe it is pronounced Taraxum officinal, which are, is derived from two, a Persian word and a Latin word, and basically means plant and office or pharmacy. And that is because the dandelion flower was uh, believed to have medicinal properties. And the flower is not, I know you're all going to be shocked about this, it is not native to North America. Maybe that's the reason why it's all over the place. It's not native. So it's not originally from North America. It originated in Eurasia and it was brought to most of the places it is in today from the European settlers. Now in North America, it was believed to be brought here because they used it for medicinal purposes. So they, need, they wanted to have it to be able to use it. And also because it made them think of home. So they brought it here thinking it wasn't gonna spread or just not really thinking about it, and now we have it everywhere. Um, but it's not the worst invasive species we have around. There are plenty that are way worse than the dandelion, and there's a lot of really great uses for it. So I will share with you some cool activities that my daughter and I did right around our neighborhood with the dandelion flower that you can do with your kids or yourself. And let's start with the easiest one. So this is just coloring with dandelions and all you need is a dandelion flower and a picture. I printed this one offline of just a goldfinch and I thought it would look nice because of the yellow color from the dandelion, but you can get creative and color anything you find. Now let's look at how to make some dandelion jewelry. So here we have a dandelion necklace hanging out on one of our lovely stuffed animals at home and I'll walk you through how exactly we were able to make that. So to make your dandelion crown or necklace, you only need a knife or scissors, something to cut the dandelion flowers with, and dandelion flowers. You wanna try and cut them about the same length um, because that will make your necklace or headband look a little more uniform. So the next step, once you've cut them, is you'll start with the stem of one of the dandelion flowers and you're going to go a little bit above where the base is and you're going to cut a little slit to slide the second dandelion flower in. So I will cut that and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so I have cut a little slit at the bottom and then I slid the second dandelion flower in and as you can see you've got the start of your necklace or your crown. So I'll do this a couple more times and show you what it looks like at the end and how you tie it off to finish, completely finish. 
So here is what it looks like now that I have um, woven each flower and I could add plenty more to make it bigger but we'll just do a bracelet for today. And the final step will be where I will tie the end here to this flower so that we can kind of finish it off. So I'll go ahead and do that and then you'll see a photo of what it looks like when it's done. And there you go. That is my finished bracelet. And here's a picture of my daughter wearing a dandelion crown. So there are a lot of ways that you can make dandelion jewelry and who knows, next time you could try an ankle bracelet or even a ring. So the final activity I wanted to share with you is one that I thought was pretty fun and super easy to do. This is dandelion play-doh. You'll need flour, cream of tartar, salt, oil, here I use vegetable oil, and dandelions. You also need to make sure you add water. The first step is to make sure you go out and collect a handful of dandelions. So here my daughter and I are out collecting some dandelions. She had a lot of fun with this part. So once you have your water boiling, you're going to be adding in your dandelions. And you can take the boiling water and put it in a blender, or what I did, I have an immersion blender and I used it to blend the dandelions. Once you get all that blended up, then you're going to be adding in the rest of your ingredients and you just knead it like regular dough. I found for me that I didn't need as much flour as it called for, so I added it in slowly and then I stopped once I felt like the Play-Doh was a good consistency. And then, when you're finished making your Play-Doh, it's time to play with it. And you can save it for later by just putting it in a plastic bag. It won't keep forever, but it will keep for a little while, and you can go back and play with it again. Well, that is all the information I have to share with you about the amazing, beautiful, and very prevalent dandelion flower. Um, I hope that you all enjoyed this and that you will share it and comment and you know share photos of some of the activities that you have done with it. Um, and make sure you stay tuned in for any other videos and things we have coming up. Um, and don't forget that once uh, all this is over, we get back to somewhat of a normal life that we will be here at the Estuary Center with programs and also within Harford County Parks and Rec Department. So please keep your eyes out and come and visit us. Um, and we hope that we get a chance to see you soon. So stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll check back in later.